Uh, hello and uh, welcome back everyone. So in the previous video we have seen uh, the basic typings, basic uh, integration with the MongoDB. So what we did is we created a MongoDB model, the user schema and uh, we try to integrate you know, NestJS with the MongoDB using uh, Mungu's module. What we did, we, we added that Mungu's module in the root module and then we created the user schema. So now in this particular module, in this particular video, we will try to integrate with the docker. So what we will do is we have already created docker compose file with the node.js and the mongo service. Node is dependent on the mongo and we have a simple docker file to run our nest.js application and I will be running this in the watch mode npm run start dev. So you can see our package.json start dev will keep watching on the code and it will be keep running. So docker compose build we can do. So it will be building the containers, both the container. I mean MongoDB is just an image so which we already have. So it will start the Mongo. And we have to build only one container which is a Node.js. And after that, we will be able to access the Mongo modules. So what we will do is we will create a one common user service. That user service should be able to uh, actually register a user and uh, validate a user. And that user service will be used at many places so we will try to put it in the shared module so instead of core calling it as a core we can rename it to shared and in the shared we also we also can create a folder like uh, and here I can create a user service Okay, and we'll write some code here. Let this go through. So in user service, uh, now we'll talk about how we actually inject a particular schema model in service. So service will be talking to our database. Service will be talking to your Mongoose module to fetch the data, right? So in service, we will be creating injectable service. And export class user service and in this user service we will be writing one constructor and in the constructor we will, be, we will be injecting that user schema model so now we have already defined in the feature module that we are going to use this and if we have this user module I mean the root module there also we have to define that we are going to use the schema model. So here what we can do is share.module.ts and here module. So there are few things we have to do if you wanted to access a particular schema model in your application. Okay, in this module, we will be defining all the imports, declaration, imports, and the imports. This is just a particular, like, in this particular module, I wanted to access to the users, right? User schema. So, in the import, you have to declare it explicitly that in this particular module, I'm going to use, I'm going to access user schema, and then you can import user schema. And all the other declaration will go further like all the providers we have this can be an array <coughs> and what we are exporting from this because we, we wanted to export a user service which will be common we imported a user service from shared module not from the user Okay, and seeing we are exporting. So objective of this is just to tell you that first if you wanted to do some operation in service. So first step one is you have to be accessing that model like this. 
okay can be any for now and this model we are getting from mongoose Okay, and inject model we can inject it so we, we are injecting the user model but in the parent module in this shared module you have to be explicitly providing this user schema to the mongoose module so that in our component we should be able to access it okay this is our component declaration this is we have declared the imports user services and we can just say export class shared module right so this is how we are going to do it uh, we create a module and then we are exporting it so in that module we are importing this user schema so now in the services you will be able to inject and we will be able to access the schema model now you can write rest of the code like I, I wanted to create a user and all these things so I will just try to create use one simple user method so you register DTO you can create here in the DTOs I can create register DTO which will be just taking the payload username password and email and then here I will be using the user model dot find one if we already have that user it means we want to just throw an exception that user already exists we don't want it to import, we don't want it to create it again and uh, we can create this sanitize method okay so register DTO is here we can write all the payload for validation for the payload using class validator and from the user DTO we are getting the username first we are checking username already exists if not then create the user so here you can see create user dot save method this is what we are doing so this dot user model DTO and dot save method and we are just sanitizing and returning it so this step we are actually creating the user by just validating so this is the part of shared service that's why I created this user service separately in the shared module here I will have a common logic for user find uh, user find by payload uh, sanitize user all these common payload methods will be there so we will have another module which is a shared module auth okay sorry not here it will be in the parent in the src we are going to have another module which is auth so we will write auth controller services auth module and from the auth service we will be accessing the shared user service the auth service will be uh, validating the user from user service and will be generating a token and uh, doing a user sign up user login all these methods will be writing in the auth service okay let's connect in the next video and we will uh, wrap up this